Only on two tonight, roadblocks for a plan to bring dozens of boys from at-risk Chicago neighborhoods to the suburbs for a better life. Our Charlie Damar live tonight in Barrington. Charlie. Erica, good evening. The village of Barrington Hills celebrates the fact that the fact rather that residents can apply for and build a shooting range on their property. They can even raise animals on their own land. But when it, but when it comes to providing a home for 25 black and brown boys from Chicago, well, the man behind the idea says that he has been met with resistance and a bit more red tape. Over 20 acres of tree lined property nestled in affluent Barrington Hills. Tennis courts and a sprawling home purchased by Terrence Wallace, founder of the InZone Project. All the things that they currently don't have from the communities that they come from in the city of Chicago. <laughs> Wallace plans on moving 25 black and brown boys out of the south and west sides of Chicago into the home, all of whom he has legal guardianship over. Giving them access to good schools and more opportunities. It's a program that has a track record of success. Our cameras recently spent time with Wallace and some of the boys. The response from the village has been um, shocking, to, to, in my opinion. Wallace provided emails showing he began communicating with village leadership in 2018 about the plan. No one responded back. Silence that Wallace says has killed. Because of your. Um, lack of responding in a professional manner, at least one of those boys who was supposed to move with me lost his life while sitting on the porch in his community. Order the regular meeting of the village of Barrington Hills. At tonight's village board meeting, Wallace was told the issue would now need to go in front of the zoning board and his plan that he's been asking about since 2018 now needs special permission to operate, as the village calls it, a group home. This is a human rights issue. It's not a zoning issue. We should see this as an opportunity to give black and brown boys from Chicago a chance to learn within one of the nation's top public school systems. The community stood in the halls, predominantly standing behind Wallace and his vision. I absolutely believe that it's discrimination, and up until this point, I thought this was only something I was feeling. I did not believe that it was true until recently uh, I, re I received a leaked email. It is time to do the right thing. These boys are welcome. We want them here. Now the village says that due to a higher number of zoning related issues, they won't be using their own attorneys. One of those issues, of course, is the in zone project. They have retained an outside law firm. Two of those attorneys were in attendance at the meeting tonight. Wallace raising questions about the optics of that because those two attorneys are black. We are live from Barrington Hills Village Hall. Charlie DeMar, CBS 2 News.